I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Happily, I feel that I learn something every time I face you, even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Let us begin. Masterly looks surprised. He doesn't see you lose very often. I didn't expect to beat you. No doubt you were focused on technique and got distracted. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. 
Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Dawnstar's garden is peaceful, even when she's not here. Greetings, fellow student. The gate is closed for now, and I am tasked with keeping it so. Master Lee has asked that no students leave the school until the morning meditations are concluded. Please do not. This is the first task I have been given. I am dedicated to even humbling tasks, but I agree. Guarding the school entrance is more to keep me busy than a necessity, I think. Perhaps my vigilance will show Master Lee that I am a worthy student. He has delayed my training because of some pressing matter. What do you mean? Some sort of test? Wait, I know this. Yes, it's weapon, martial, support, transformation, and magic. Weapon and martial styles are pretty self-explanatory. Support styles allow you to paralyze, slow, or otherwise hamper your foes. Magic styles allow you to use your chi to control the elements, while transformation styles allow you to assume the form of creatures or even demons. I'm only repeating what I have learned in my time here, senior student, but that was one of the first things I memorized. Oh, good. I mean, yes, thank you, senior student, for the chance to answer your questions. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. I thought Master Lee would have your attack. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. Goodbye. Typical. Ah, 
there you are, my student. Your bout with Jing Wu had a surprising end. I hope I have not caused you to grow complacent in practice bouts. You came here an orphan and became my best pupil, but have I done enough? Second chances at victory are very rare. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Li! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gu Jin will be in his shop near the village gate, up the stairs from the village square. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. The obvious path is humble, safe, but pays the wage of a cook, not a champion. Finally get a chance to see some I'm sure Master Lee will be able to save Kia Min even if she's wounded. But I wonder who will salve her pride walking along the shore my foot. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely.
That makes sense. Is that how you live your life? If so, it certainly seems to be an effective philosophy. Maybe I should spend more time training, and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. Why would you ask me? Everyone knows I don't get along with her. She's too moody to talk to. Always looking past you as if there's something more interesting happening behind you. I suppose she'll be at her garden by the school gate. You could look for her there. Stay well. Bandits coming here. They must not know about the school, or at least about Master Lee. He's not a man to stand idly by while people suffer. If they hurt Kia Min badly, Master Lee will be angry. I'd hate to be the captain of that ship if Master Lee is angry. What would bandits want with a sleepy town like Two Rivers? They're in for a surprise if they think the school won't leap to the town's defense. Sometimes I wonder if I'm ready to train with others of such skill. Even in the robes of a junior student, I feel a long way from my home in the Imperial City. You're right. Master Lee would not have accepted me if he did not see potential. He measures all people carefully. I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up to your level of skill. Even then, it will take a long time to be your match. How long have you studied with Master Lee? You and Dawnstar have both had a lifetime of training under Master Lee. He is stern with you, but you sure can see that he's proud as well. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there something you need? Goodbye. Take care of yourself. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. 
Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Li allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Li's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Li was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? You're right. As useful as it was to help Master Li learn about the restlessness of the dead, thanks to my gift, I see enough disturbing things as it is. If we can stop the bandits quickly, we can keep everyone safe. Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? Haven't... Why would bandits come here to Two Rivers? What was that noise from the town square? Are people fighting? Bandits, huh? I, I see a lot of them. I better let someone else have some fun for a change. I can't abandon the gate. You never know if they're gonna sneak around. My weapons? Yes. Uh... I don't know how to use them. I just do this so I don't have to work the fields. Guarding the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. <laughs> if you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now. What brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Dawnstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. 
You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after, and I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff Golden Star. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say. But this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. A young noble convinced the Great Eastern Serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. It could be pure fantasy, but this staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you... One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon, and the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. <sighs> Senior student! Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits. They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. Master Li hasn't returned yet with Kia Min. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns. I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I know you can. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. Ah! <laughs> 
Thank the heavens you came down here. They're animals. There is no time to talk. Yet another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die.
skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange and oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it. I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. <clears throat> Well fought, my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success. It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. Do not be so quick to thank me. My influence caused this attack. You were not meant to see this yet, but now there is no choice. I will explain to the school. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students, and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. We fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. This is so confusing. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach... I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. 
I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't, I don't want anything to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else. Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never staying anywhere for long, and for some reason, the robes of that sorcerer looked familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing, just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. I see. Very well. I will not trouble you with this. What else do you want? I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Chi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. The things I do are different. I can see spirit shapes and hear the odd whisper. Master Lee was surprised, but he has not had time to look into it further. Your training is his primary interest. Hopefully, I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at night. Could we go on to something else? Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. I'm so glad you and Master Lee arrived when you did. My father ran to the school gate to find students to help. Did he make it? He... he didn't make it? No. Please, no. This town is... was his home. He shouldn't have died like this. Hopefully Master Lee can give this some meaning. A sorcerer here. Dawnstar, there you are. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while. I saw him again last night, and I remembered what you said. I wasn't as afraid. I'm glad, Mrs. Jean. He seemed peaceful, if a bit lost. But I know it's not your fault now. I'm sorry for disturbing you and for what I said before. Remember Zhang Jin, her son? He drowned last year after the mooring she tied let go. A sad accident. I saw his spirit and told her. She thought I was calling up ghosts. Some spirits return because of trauma, to rectify something that disturbed them in life or death. They are very focused. When the pain is gone, they find rest. At least, they are supposed to. Jin's spirit told his mother the accident wasn't her fault. Now he wanders, unconnected to this world, and unable to pass to the next. Troubled spirits can be set to rest for a time, but unless the greater problem is corrected, it seems all dead are destined to wander until they go mad. I'm sorry. This has been difficult. I don't want to think about how it affects specific people. I'm still not sure I should have told Mrs. Zhang about her child. I don't know. People just want to be left alone with their grief. I guess blame is easier to understand than chance. Come on, we should go see if the students are alright. Master Lee will be waiting. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. Don't forget his senior student. They say she's the one who fought many of those bandits.
heard some people died when the bandits attacked. I'm glad you didn't. I heard how you faced those bandits in the village. Many people are impressed, but I expected no less. Your skill is a match for any rough bandit. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. To hear Gao tell it, he single-handedly beat back the bandits. But I know you did the lion's share. Too bad I was stuck up here minding the younger students. It would have been great to see Master Lee deal with that sorcerer. We so rarely see our master's true abilities in action. What do you need from me? Stay well. After all. How could we learn without our most senior student to guide us? Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the spirit cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling her, you would have many promising students instead of one. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment, and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it, too. If she is truly better than me, let her prove it. I challenge her. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Cobbled before I begin, of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. amusement left by the previous master of this school meant to test the students with basic problem solving. I haven't bothered to have it removed. You are free to do as you wish with it. I think it still functions. There are figurines in the chest next to it that are part of the riddle it presents. Just don't let it interfere with more important tasks. I do not favor such unsophisticated diversions. I will explain what I can after we have dealt with Gao's interruption. I don't want to confuse matters. Trust that I am right. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think... It is more than likely. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? 
They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! Thousand cuts! Ha! Done. The challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. sessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path, but you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Li has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father.
But don't you wish that some things made more sense? Anticipation is grueling. So much could be happening that you just don't know about. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm... I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and... Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him. You should speak with Master Lee. He will want you to enter the spirit cave soon. Ah, there you are. Have you finished all your business with your fellow students? I expect our next conversation to change a great many things. You should be ready. Wait outside, Gao. I will finish with you later. Now, my student, there are many things ahead that you must discover about yourself. I trust you know the importance of your destiny. You are an orphan, but you were not abandoned. You were rescued from the Temple of Dirge in the land of howling spirits. You were orphaned by violent action. I take responsibility for it. You see, I used to be more than a humble teacher. To learn of yourself, you must learn more of me. I was once leader of the Imperial Army. I was known as Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I am the brother of Emperor Sun Hai. I will tell you more, but first, we have an uninvited visitor. Gao never could keep his ears to himself, especially when angry. So predictable. He's heard as much as I wanted him to. Perhaps it will give him a little perspective. He should respect even the most humble person, because who knows what lies within. That includes you and me both. I was ashamed. He seized your homeland during the long drought. It was an aggressive change in the Empire that would soon bring Death's hand to power. I withdrew my support and tried to rally your people against the siege I had helped plan. A doomed effort. Many died on both sides. Sun Kin, another brother, also fell. Listen, I will tell you how you came into my care.
Your people were killed. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of death's hand. More will come. Most in the Empire know nothing of the land of howling spirits. I found its people to be honorable, but I can't tell you more than that. There was no time to learn more. You were meant for something important, but because of my actions, it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander, lost, going mad. In time, they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were destroyed. We are on the edge of the Empire, and not all spirits make their presence known. We are not immune, but I kept you isolated. This information could endanger you. The first assassin found us by accident. The next attack may not be so... unfocused. To fix the world, you may threaten the power of some dangerous people. The Spirit Cave will make things as clear as they can be. Only you are meant to understand what is within. You will see the corruption of the Spirit Realm for yourself. No, but few places truly are. This has been a lot to comprehend, so take your time. There are instructions inside, and something that belongs to you, an amulet. When you emerge, you will know more about yourself and your destiny than I can explain. And you will better know your enemy.